Hi, Larry Stewart here with 4constructionpros.com, where World of Concrete in the Wacker booth meets Fred Paul, who's, uh, um, tell me your title again for all of Sales audience. Application Engineering Sales Manager. Application Engineering Manager. We're talking about the AS50E electric grammar, the, the industry's first electric grammar. Talk a little bit about why this machine's out now and what kind of advantages it brings over a gas grammar. Well, Ted, the first advantage is indoor applications and use. Any contractor that's doing a renovation uh, that's concerned with the uh, emissions from any gas product this is a tool for them okay and uh, is it is it a specialty tool then for for interiors or is this the kind of thing that can can replace a gas powered rammer in any application great question uh, you know I, I think at this time it's probably going to still stay for an indoor application specialty at this okay. time but who knows where this is going to go uh, lower noise lower hand arm vibrations, lower emissions, who knows, it could catch on and hopefully it does. Okay, all right, and so so there, it's it's not just low noise uh, and, and, and zero emissions, there's a suspension advantage to it as well, right? Oh, you bet, you bet, uh, you know, it's, it's not just eco-friendly for the uh, environment, but for the operator as well, you know, yeah. it's lower noise, lower hand-arm vibration, easier on the operator, uh, great run times on these machines and uh, just all around well accepted in the industry. How does it compare in terms of weight uh, to, a, to a gas power? rammer of similar power? Good question. Uh, this is our smallest series rammer. It's a, a BS50 series. Okay, we make 60s and 70s, which are just larger series of, of machines. So this weighs closer to a 60 series, but it's hitting like a 50. So you do get a little extra weight because of the battery, but um, again, the whole dynamic of it, it does help with the impact force, having some of that additional weight. So it's a great tool. Yeah. Um, what kind of chart uh, run times do you get with that battery chart? You get about 30 minutes of run time on this. Okay, now it doesn't sound like a lot, but if you cycle this through with the chart uh, about six charges per day on this machine. Mm -hmm. If you look behind us, we get that 3001 dumper. You're going to compact um, your compaction depth and speed with this. You'll get about 60 cubic yards of uh, material compacted a day. So if you're thinking interior projects, narrow trenches, uh, not real deep, that's a lot of material. Okay. Uh, you're not going to have to charge this as often as what you think. And the, the, the charging process, is it is it replaceable batteries or is it does, does it charge in situ in the machine? We've got a, we've got a charging docking station vehicle basically and if I may I'll just sure. pop this there's a lever on both sides you swing it down pop it out put it in the carriage plug it in and in an hour hour and 15 minutes you're fully charged again okay so you could you could have multiple batteries and, and run it on multiple batteries oh sure right? sure and there is an indicator on here that of your battery condition and brighter battery charge if you know that you're going to be down for a little bit of time, maybe backfilling, putting some other pipe in, there's nothing wrong with putting it in the charger while it's partially discharged. So you don't have to wait for it, full, full discharge to recharge it. I see. What do we know about the durability of components and the systems on a, on a rammer like this? Obviously, this is, I'm assuming, the first uh, rammer in, 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 uh, that, that runs on electric with a lot of vibration and electrical. Yeah, we, we like to call it the cordless because cordless tools seem to be uh, yeah. more popular than what, what you'd say with electric. Sure, sure. But, Makes uh, sense. You know, we're, we expect about 1,800 uh, uh, charges out of the battery, okay. um, and it will still have at least 80% of the capacity a after those 1,800 charges. The, the mechanism, the actual actual oscillating mechanism in this, is is this the first time that's that's been uh, uh, put into use, or is it? Uh, oh no, no, no. The, the the internal components, like I said, we've got three series of rammers. There's a five series, okay. six series, and the seven fifties. Okay, so it, it's the same mechanism, the same spring system, the, uh, the same gear drive system. All we've really done is replace that gasoline motor with an asynchronous electric motor okay. and the battery pack. All right, all right. so it's so they're, they're, it's proven uh, componentry oh, on yeah, the working yeah. side of this. It's just you've got a different kind of motor. Right, just a different drive. That's all, all right. it is.